All right, guys, in this video, I'll be showing you how to make tiger tail stars. You'll be needing potassium nitrate, airflow charcoal, dextrin, and sulfur powder. And you'll be needing all of these completely powdered to the best you can. That way you can get the highest quality stars. So for this composition, you'll be wanting 44% potassium nitrate. I'm doing a 50 gram batch, so there's 22 grams of potassium nitrate. And you're gonna want the same for the charcoal. So 22 grams of charcoal, because I'm doing a 50 gram batch which is 44%. And you can use these stars for things like fireworks, shells, star mines, all things like that. And next will be the dextrin, which you'll be needing three grams of dextrin, which is 6% by weight. So here you can see I'm measuring out three grams. And lastly, for the sulfur, you'll need the same amount by weight for the sulfur. So three grams of sulfur, and again, that's 6%. All right, so now that you have everything measured out, the next thing to do is to add everything to a large container so that you can mix it. And be very careful when you do this because as you can see, I just spilled, and that's actually the charcoal powder. And this is because it's super, super fine, so if you try to pour it, it will possibly fly out. So just be careful with that. Try to get it as close as you can to the container to minimize any spilling and mix this for one to two minutes. Okay, so once you finish mixing your composition, the next thing to do is to prepare a spray. I'll be doing half water and half rubbing alcohol. Now what you want to do is take your spray and take your composition and just keep misting it and mixing it until everything clumps together and you're able to squeeze it into a ball, kind of like a ball of Play-Doh. Okay, so from here, once you have your mixture into a ball, the next thing to do is to flatten that down, and then take a knife or ruler and cut that up into strips, and then cut those strips the other way and get little chunks, and those will be your stars. You could also invest in a star pump or a star press and get perfectly shaped stars in cylinders or little balls, but I did not have one of those, so I'm just using a knife today to work with it. Okay, so once you're all done, your star should look something like this. Now what you want to do is take these out, leave them in the sun for about two days in order to dry, and completely evaporate out all the moisture that we put into them. And I'll be trying to do a video on these, or at least part of another video, testing them out. And keep your eyes peeled for that, and we'll see how well these tiger tails actually work. 